Thank you. Uh, I live in the United States, and all right, some of you have heard of it. Sure, you've heard of it. It's a place. I live in the United States, and I hear a lot of people now talking about getting rid of the Confederate flag. Uh, they're mainly white people that I'm stuck in an elevator with. <laughs> we don't have to talk. Dr. King would have approved of that, too. A lot of people who want to get rid of the Confederate flag, but then I also hear a lot of people who don't want to get rid of the Confederate flag. They're usually never in the elevator with me. <laughs> but there are a lot of people who don't want to get rid of the Confederate flag, and it's this huge debate in the United States right now. And I feel like it wouldn't be that much of a debate if it wasn't such a cool-looking flag. Like, it's a cool-looking flag. Like, what the Confederacy stood for, terrible. But the flag is cool, because think about it. If the Confederate flag were just a picture of Jar Jar Binks on a skateboard, that shit would have been gone already. Like, it's a cool-looking flag. What the Confederacy stood for, terrible. But their aesthetic, timeless. I mean, you look at it. You look at the Confederate flag. You look at, like, Nazi symbolism. You look at the ISIS flag. There is something about terrorist occupations that bring out the best in graphic designers. <laughs> it is a very difficult time to be black in the United States right now. Like, it's such a tough time. You turn on the news and you just see story after story, and you're just like, Damn, Bill Cosby really fucked it up for all of us. Like, I can't wear sweaters anymore without people thinking I'm a rapist. Like, can't wear sweatshirts, can't wear sweaters. Like, it's messed up. And that's the thing, because Bill Cosby, he was the most beloved black man in America. Like, that reflects on all of us in a real way. Like, it reflects on all of us. I, I tried to get a bank loan recently. My bank application was denied. They said bad credit. I'm pretty sure what they meant was Bill Cosby. <laughs> Hashtag Black Lives Matter. Hashtag Je suis not Cosby. <laughs> Bill Cosby is just the tip of the iceberg. Because here's the one thing I know about America. Whatever heinous thing the most successful black man in America can get away with, 15 white guys have done worse. That's just the truth. Like, O.J. Simpson, most successful running back in NFL history, got away with murder. Robert Durst, I don't know what the fuck that man did for a living, but he got away with murder three times. And he got an HBO special out of it. Like, that's the thing, like, Bill Cosby, terrible man, abused his power, took advantage of women. Thomas Jefferson owned human beings dipped his pen in the company ink, and I'm gonna assume it was not consensual, and that dude is on money. <laughs> and a mountain. <laughs> so I feel, like, I feel like we can talk about like, oh yeah, we should take down the Confederate flag, or we should, you know, we should uh, stop watching the Cosby show, but let's not forget old Mount Ratemore. Because that's the one thing. There is a culture of rape that is just, and a culture of mistreatment of women that happens in America. Like, just a few years ago, 31 states in the U.S., it was legal. A man, a rapist, had parental claim on a child born out of rape. 31 states. That's not all the states you hate. <laughs> like, that's the good Carolina. You got a New York in there. 31 out of 50 states. Like, that's insane. Think about it in this context. If an NFL quarterback were to complete 31 of 50 passes, statistically, you will win the game. And you don't just win the game. You go on Sports Center. You get an endorsement deal. You go to the playoffs. That's what rape is in America. Rape is a Pro Bowl quarterback. It may be not Tom Brady, but it's definitely Ben Roethlisberger. And while it feels like, you know, I'm trying to make a point here, I'm only saying this because I'm just pissed I still can't wear sweaters. <laughs> All right, you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much.